hello everyone today i want to show you how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator if we have 12 to the power of 5 minus 12 to the power of 4 so we write this algebraic expression into the lowest form uh, so because calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we need to show all of the working on this paper so here the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to uh, focus in the exponent of this term and it is uh, 12 to the power of 5 and we write this 5 as uh, 4 plus 1 minus this is 12 to the power of 4. So here further in the next step uh, uh, we use here the nice exponent law so according to this exponent law if we have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this exponent law uh, we uh, we can apply this exponent law on the first term and it will be written as 12 to the power of 4 multiplied by 12 to the power of 1 minus this is 12 to the power of 4 so further in the next step uh, we need to take common 12 to the power of 4 and when you take common 12 to the power of 4 we get the remaining values are here you get 12 minus here we get 1 only and when you subtract 12 with 1 we get here 12 to the power of 4 multiplied by 11 and now here we need to find the prime factors of 12 and here we easily get the prime factors of 12 and the prime factors of 12 are 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and its whole power is 12 and it is multiplied by 11. And now here in the next step we need to apply here the nice exponent law you know that if you have a multiplied by b multiplied by c and its whole exponent is m it will be written as a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m multiplied by c to the power of m so according to this exponent law we need to apply all of these exponents on each of these terms and it will be written as 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 and at the last we multiply the resulting answer with 11 so here uh, we f uh, we need to first find the value of uh, 2 to the power of 4 and 3 to the power of 4 uh, and you know that 2 to the power of 4 equals to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 and 3 to the power of 4 equals to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. Uh, I can just do uh, these steps because of I know that uh, some uh, some genius students can do these type of calculations in our mind directly but uh, some average or mediocre students cannot do these type of calculations in our mind so that for the average or mediocre students i can do all of these calculations and all of these steps because of uh, he cannot uh, uh, make some difficulties to solve this type of problem okay i hope so uh, why i can explain these steps I hope so you understand why I can explain this stuff so that now here uh, you see that this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16 and in the here you have this is 3 times of 3 becomes 9, 9, 3 is a 27, 27 times of 3 becomes here 81. So we know that 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 and 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 and now we can put these values on this expression so that uh, this expression is implies that First you have 2 to the power of 4 and 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 multiplied by 16 and 3 to the power of 4 equals to 81 and at the last we have it is multiplied by 11. So here first we need to multiply these two numbers and these two numbers as well. So here first we break this 16 as first we write this 16 and we break this 16 as 10 plus 6 and it is multiplied by here we write 81 and we'll break this 11 as 10 plus 1 and now here in the next step we need to multiply this 16 with both of these values and it will become 16 multiplied by 10 plus 16 multiplied by 6 and uh, here its resulting answer is multiplied by this value here we multiply 81 on both of these values it will become 81 multiplied by 10 plus 81 multiplied by 1 okay so here we uh, we first solve these two brackets pair 
uh, and now you see here we have 16 times of 10 becomes 160 and 6 times of 16 equals to 96 and here you have 81 times of 10 becomes 810 and 81 times of 1 becomes here 81 only so here first we need to sum up these two values and add the resulting answer is multiplied by each together so here first we add these values 0 plus 6 becomes 6 and 6 plus 9 becomes 15 we write 5 and carry 1 1 plus 1 is 2 and when you add these two values we get 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 8 is 9 and at the last we have a 8 so here uh, our final step is that we need to multiply 891 with 256 so uh, here first we rewrite these terms as first we write 891 and we break this 256 as 200 plus 50 and plus 6 so first we uh, need to multiply 891 on each of these values and it will be written as 891 multiplied by 200 plus 891 multiplied by 50 plus 891 multiplied by 6 so here in the next step uh, first we need to multiply all of these bigger numbers and you see here i can give you a nice trick uh, in which you can multiply any bigger numbers uh, without using the calculator or without any calculations okay so you see here now first we consider this is our one digit number and this is our three digit numbers and 0 times of this number equals to 0 and 0 times of this number is again equals to 0 and 2 times of this number equals to 2 1s are 2, 2 9s are 18, we write 8 and carry 1, 2 8s are 16, 16 plus 1 is 17. Plus we need to multiply 891 with these two values and 0 times of this number equals to 0 and 5 times of this number equals to 5 ones are 5, 5 nines are 45, we write 5 and carry 4, 5 eights are 40, 40 plus 4 becomes here 44. So we get here uh, double 4 and double 5 0 and plus we need to multiply 6 with this number and we get here 6 ones are 6, 6 nines are 54, we write 4 and carry 5 and we have uh, 6 eights are 40. 48 plus 5 becomes here 53 okay so here we need uh, our final step is that we need to add all of these values and you see here this is 0 plus 0 plus 6 equals to 6 this 0 plus 5 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 we write 0 and carry 1 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 1 is 18, we write 8 and carry 1, 7 plus 4 is 11, 11 plus 1 is 12, we write 2 and carry 1, so 1 plus 1 becomes here 2. So uh, finally we have the final answer of the question that is 12 to the power of 5 minus 12 to the power of 4 is equals to double two eight zero and nine six so this is the over final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos